Hi folks, and welcome to my June comic book wrap-up. Now this month I read uh, two comic books, both which were uh, created in Israel, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm actually gonna search around and see if there are any more uh, Israel, you know, created comic books I can find. I'll do that. Alright, let's get to the comics. So the first one is this one. And that is uh, Miko Bell, the Potion Boy, uh, Valum 1. Yeah, Valum 1. Uh, now, this was written by Liat Rotner and illustrated, yeah, illustra you know, drawn by uh, Eris Sadok. Now, this is uh, sort of a fantasy comic where we have a young boy who discovers that his uh, grandfather is a potion maker. His grandfather has gone somewhere and now he has to, and he discovers about all of this and has to deal with some issues. I, this was the uh, the second time I read it. Yeah, second time around, it was still quite nice. I did see a bit holes in the plot this time around, but overall it's a, it's a really nice comic. Uh, if you want to hear more of what I thought, I'll leave my uh, thoughts video in a little, uh, in the square thing in the end. Also, I uh, do like the the art. The art is very, uh, very cute. Alright, and the second one is Adventures of Quentin Alpha. Oh, wait, let's make some room. Adventures of Quentin Alpha, uh, Enemy of the Stars. Now this was um, written, illustrated, and uh, sorry, forgot what else. All right, uh, created, written, and illustrated by Leo Zippin. And this is um, oh I forgot I never told you this is by Donny Books. Uh, that's the publisher of this one. I know it doesn't really help you much, but I just forgot to mention it last time. And this is by LZ, uh, LZ Comics. So this is more of a um, science uh, science fiction comic, where we have our hero, uh, Quentin Alpha. He needs to save time because the future doesn't exist anymore. It's stuck, and he needs to... Uh, Prevent a scientist, which I, f I forgot his name in yesterday's video. His name is Dr. O. So he needs to prevent Dr. O from uh, setting off a bomb that will just destroy time. I, I did really enjoy, I really enjoyed it, and I would uh, definitely hope there will be more in the future. It's a really cool uh, beginning to the story, and they have a space vampire, okay? I'm in. You said vampire, I am so in. Also, I do love the, how much purple this has. <laughs> you know me, I love my purple. Also, I'll leave uh, the thoughts video in the square thing. So this is what I read this month. I might actually, I, now that I'm thinking about, there is, I think, Zbang, which is an Israeli created comic. I'll look into that. It's all right. So these are what I read this month. And now I'll uh, show you what I plan to read next month. One moment. Alright, I want to read um, Mystery Society by, I think Stephen Niles is the, the writer of the story. This is the definitive edition. I don't know what that means, actually, now that I think about it. Um, now, I forgot to say my book haul, my comic haul. Um, I did ask in the store, and they said this was a uh, standalone, probably. Because I asked if it was the first or second or whatever part. Oh, well, I guess I'll be uh, finding out. So, yes, I'm planning to uh, read this one. After I wrap it, of course. I will definitely be wrapping it. And we'll see. I don't really know much what this is about yet. I haven't dug in too much. But it has skulls, so I improve already. So that is it, folks. Uh, 
Tell me what what you've been reading in June, what you've read, what you will be reading. And until next time, bye.